These two aren't ready to meet each other yet. Have them do it later on. Hi. Hi there. Hey, sport. How you doing? Guess who? It's Harry, your buddy. I knew I could count on you to screw up this story. Way to go. We got their adrenaline flowing, pumped up their interest, and you just let them walk away? You really bit off on that romantic sunset choice. What a wimp. Hope you don't wait for romantic settings to meet someone. Let this be a lesson to you. Wait, wait. You may be saved. John's having second thoughts. Let's listen in. get some balls when it comes to meeting chicks. Maybe if my skin were a different color. Chicks don't like white guys anymore. They think we're too straight. Angle's got no rhythm. If only I were someone else. I'm not his type. Damn. Those bikers are looking for someone kinky. Maybe I should look more kinky. Nah. He's not for me. I just want to meet some nice guy. Maybe if I were small breasted and, and just normal. Hey, babe, looking for some action? What do you got in mind, cowboy? Oh, maybe go to my place, you know, hang out, have a beer, get laid, you know. Get laid? <laughs> You're gonna need some help in that department. What do you mean, help? You saying I ain't man enough for you? I'm just your size. You won't be after this. Ooh! want is a normal guy. Maybe it is time I settle down. I just want a normal life, you know, nothing special, just a small house in the suburbs with lots of friends, a shaggy dog, a white Jeep station wagon, maybe a bit part at the local playhouse every now and then, canasta on Saturday afternoons with the neighborhood wives, maybe an affair with the meter man. If only I could meet the right guy. Are you my love? The one I've waited all my life for? Yes, yes, my darling. Hey, don't touch my hair. I don't give a damn about your hair, lover boy. You don't know how long I've waited for someone like you. I have to know everything about you. Well, I graduated summa cum laude from USC in business. I work for Schleim and Schleim as a broker. I drive a black Beamer, own a condo in Encino, and make over $200,000 a year. Hey, I got a quarter of a million dollars in the bank. I just got a hair implant. You like it? I vacation in Con every summer. You think I need a nose job? And I date at least one new woman a month. Guess what? You're Miss July. Oh, God. I thought you were different because you rode a motorcycle. It's not mine. I was just sitting on it. You could take your damn nose job and shove it. Ah! Maybe if I were blonde. Yeah, like more Scandinavian looking. Girls go for that. Yeah, maybe that's it. Only I were more exotic looking. Wait a minute. Wait up. 
I don't know. Call me crazy, but all of a sudden I feel like a different man. And you've changed too. I'm in love with you now. You're so erotic. I love you, you Amazon. What? Are you crazy? I haven't changed one bit. No. There's something different about you now. Yeah, there's something different. I'm getting angry. What kind of a come on is this anyway? Get out of here, you preppy. I want a real man. Wait a minute. Just because I cook souffles doesn't mean I can't. Can't what? I'm a real man. I'm also caring and sensitive. I love the arts, theater, children, grandparents, and chocolate chip cookies. You are so worried about your self-image. I bet you can't even get it up. Can't so. I doubt it. I can't get it up. Can't. You bull like bitch. You women just love to put down wimps. I mean men, don't you? Admit it. It's become a national pastime for you women. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? I hate women like you. I'll kill you for this. White men can't use knives. Hey, champ. Feeling down? This story even gave you extra characters to fool around with. And you still couldn't get the two lovebirds together. What is it with you, anyway? You skipped breakfast this morning? You want another chance? Well, I suppose. Now put your tail between your legs and go back to the original choices. And do the right thing. I can't let this beauty slip through my fingers. Flowers and leather? This guy's different. Interesting. To the most beautiful woman I've ever met. You're a charmer. Thank you. They're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Come on, just lunch, please. You know what? I'd love to, but today's my first day in the job, and I don't even know when my lunch break is. She's weakening. Flowers are magic. Simple, I'll just wait for you, here in the parking lot. You're crazy. About you? Yes. Just give me a chance. Please. Persistent. I like that. Great looking bod, too. Give me your work number and I'll call you about lunch. Uh, 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 today, uh, today's not a good day. Uh, why? What do you do? Uh-oh. She's trolling for financial data already. Damn. I know. I'll just lie. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a rep. You know, uh, yeah, a representative. Oh, an account rep. My new boss is some kind of an account rep. Maybe you know him. Mark Thresher? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mark. Mark Thresher, sure. He rings a bell. I uh, probably had a drink with him at one of uh, the exclusive account rep clubs around here. Oh, my goodness, maybe you two work in the same office. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, no, no, no. Different offices. How do you know? Oh, uh, well, you see, I'm an independent. I work my own account rep territory. I got my own office. Your own office? You must be very successful. Oh, I do all right. I'm really late. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you there, okay? Oh, yeah, that would be better. You know, today's a killer. I got meetings scheduled every hour. Lots of clients. Big clients. You know, big deals today. Lots of big deals. Tonight. Call me tonight. Okay, I'll call you tonight. When? Mmm, how about eight? You're perfect. Uh, <laughs> I mean, perfect timing. No, please, I gotta go. I'll be waiting for your call. I won't eat till I hear from you. You won't let me starve to death, will you? I'm too young to die. What a smile. What a bot! She's perfect. We're perfect together. I know we are. You're the star. You went out and did it. Overcame and underbid it. You're the star. How bizarre. When I stop and think about it, then I simply want to shout it from afar. You went out to most the deal. It's only natural.
Well, now, perhaps something can be worked out after all. <gasps> you don't mean it. As a matter of fact, I've been wanting a personal secretary for some time. Would you be interested in that position? Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Thresher. Of course, it's a full-time job, not just for the summer. You'd have to quit college. But I would... Of course, we do have a tuition support plan so that you can complete your degree at night. Oh, that'll work out just fine. Thank you, Mr. Thresher. Of course, you won't have much time for night school. You'll be traveling a lot on this job. Oh, I'd love to travel. I was hoping you'd say that. You'll be traveling with me, of course. With you? Is that a problem? Well, I mean that... Strictly business, Jay. No hanky-panky on this job. Don't you worry. I just want to show you the ropes. Oh, thank God. For a moment there, I thought you were one of those kinky, perverted bosses who got his kicks from exploiting his employees. I'm so relieved to hear you're not one of those. Oh, you have a wild imagination, Jay. I like subordinates who can fantasize. Ooh, I have all kinds of fantasies. Well, we'll get into that later. So what do you say? Well, okay, boss. It sounds just great. I'd love to learn all about the ropes. Thank you, Mr. Thresher. Oh, you're welcome. And please, call me Mark. Sure thing, Mark. I just love to be your personal secretary. Will $40,000 be adequate? $40,000? I thought so. Now, your first assignment starts today. I'll be spending the weekend at my luxurious bachelor pad in Pacoima. And I'm leaving at 4. Yes. What would you like me to do? Make coffee? Oh, no, no. I want you to be back here at four, packed and ready to go. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Then it is real. I got the job, Mr. Thresher. I mean, Mark, how can I ever thank you? Please, don't worry about thanking me. I just want us to work as closely together as the dear Lord will permit. See you at four. Oh, yes, sir. And thank you, sir. I'm so glad you're a religious man. Are you in the ministry? No, but your visit has made me think about starting one. <sighs> oh, I'm so glad I inspired you. Yes, you are a very exciting, I mean inspiring young lady. Oh, thank you, sir. We'll see you at four. Uh, yes, I'll see you at four. Jane, I had to wait for you. I couldn't leave things to fate or that stupid person controlling the story. I've been thinking about you all day. I know it sounds crazy, but I love you. I love everything about you. I love you like I've never loved anyone in my life. You've got to... Don't touch me, you, you hormone. I'm earning $40,000 a year. I'm a professional now. 